This is the Bolex 819 1.5X anamorphic adapter. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and use it with the Blackmagic Cinema camera. The first thing that you need to do is pick a lens to go with the anamorphic adapter. I'm using the Metabones Speed Booster, so I need at least a 50 millimeter lens. I chose the Olympus 50 millimeter 1.4 and I have modified it to an icon base. The reason that I chose an Olympus lens is because it focuses in the same direction as the anamorphic adapter. Now we need to get the anamorphic adapter as close to the lens as possible. So what I have here is a group of stepping rings that actually build up and stay flatter than the back screw mount adapter for the lens. That allows me to mount the back of the anamorphic adapter as close to the lens as physically possible. Um, there are other ways to mount, but for this we need to get it as close as possible. So you're going to adjust that so that when you screw it in, you line up the top of your anamorphic adapter with the top of the lens. That will get your flares nice and straight across. So you're going to make sure that it's tight and then check, make sure they go completely horizontal without any vertical movement. When you get that down, I like to put a piece of gaff tape over that just to make sure that it doesn't move, but I want to make sure that it's tight with the lens. And now for focusing. So what we do is we set both lenses to the, the same setting, and then we make a double grip using a pinky, a second finger, index finger, and thumb, and we focus both lenses at the same time. It takes some practice, and it's a good idea to set up a target and practice with that to make sure that you can hold focus between the two. Um, this is basically what it looks like. Uh, you might want to set up another test to make sure that there's no movement at all with the lens. Lens flare stays completely horizontal and test focusing back and forth. Uh, this is basically what the lens looks like on the Blackmagic Cinema camera. It takes lots of practice to get the focus down, but uh, it becomes fairly reliable once you, you know how to do it. And that's it. Um, you'll be set up and ready to go. So practice and you'll be ready to go out and shoot. So I have a video that I last uploaded with some modifications here. So you can see what it looks like with this lens. Uh, basically, you can see all the different things that including rack focusing. It's basically a test of the lens that so you can see performance up close and far away. Another thing about selecting a lens is you want to make sure that you get a lens that can focus 2.5 meters since that's the minimum focus distance of the Bolex lens. So basically 1.6 feet away. So you want something with a, a fairly decent macro mode. It doesn't have to be something that goes further because you want the lenses to be matched as close as possible for focusing purposes. Um, with the 50 you will get Vinay even with the, the anamorphic adapter being as close as it is if you step stop down below f8 but you shouldn't really be stopping down below f8 anyway because you actually lose sharpness. And as you see, um, this anamorphic adapter is able to resolve the, definitely the full resolution of the sensor and beyond. I've tested it with the RED, I've tested it with still cameras, and I haven't been able to find the, the upper limit of what the, this little anamorphic adapter will resolve. Um, so basically, you can see the performance near, far, side to side edges CA. This is shot with the speed booster as well, so you see a very little CA. I haven't corrected for any CA. I did, the only thing I corrected for was a little bit of an A because I, on a couple of the shots, I stopped down to F11. Um, 